Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to show you guys every way to either get into your opponents one by one or a technique to replace one of their walls or builds. I'll show you how to do it, your opponent's perspective, and then explain why it's so effective and why it actually works. You may have seen some of these before, but most of them should be new or new variations to ones that you already know. I'll first quickly explain what turtling is and why people do it. Turtling just refers to when you build a box around yourself and basically just sit in it and hide. They call it turtling because it's kind of like when a turtle goes back into its shell to hide and protect itself. That's basically what the player's doing at Fortnite, except they're doing it with a one by one. The reason it's annoying is because if you're trying to kill this person, they can just hide in their box and turbo build and it's insanely hard to shoot them through it or to replace their wall, especially if you have someone on lower ping than you. So we need some techniques to trick and outsmart them so we can get into their one by one or replace their build and kill them. The first trick is one of my personal favorites for how often it works and how easy it is and quick to do. You've probably seen the original variation of this trick, which is to hit a wall of your opponent's box, then jump up on a ramp and hit the blue circle that's still on the wall through the ramp. You can then replace the wall as your own. People have also been hitting the wall, then after they jump on the ramp, they hit the cone on top so their opponent will turbo build the cone, and then you'll be able to get the wall much easier. There are now two new variations of this. The first is using the other wall to fake them out. To do it, just run up to a wall, hit it once, then go to the next wall, which is the wall you'll be taking. Hit this wall, and then hit the other wall that you just hit through the wall, which the blue circle should still be hanging there. Your opponent will see the other wall break and turbo build that side, all while you break the wall in front of you and replace it as your own. I saw this trick originally from E11 Blue T, who put it to use really well in this clip. You can add another layer to this by hitting the cone on top. Then, as you hit both walls, you can replace the cone and the wall in front of you for a sick little double take. The second new variation of this is after you get a cone off on there one by one, you can then edit the cone and hit the floor once. Then you'll re-edit the cone back down and hit the floor through the cone. Again, your opponent will see the re-edited cone and either think of a way to escape in the meantime or give up on turbo building the floor. Then you hit the floor and build your own and you can get a nice double edit for a safe and easy kill. Next is a trick that you'll need explosives to use like an RPG or grenade launcher. This isn't the trick you're thinking of which is the RPG on the other side of the cone when on top of a 1x1. We can see Courage do it in this clip, but as of the last patch it was actually fixed. For some reason, the splash damage before would be blocked when the players didn't actually have cover. Now if you try to do it, you'll explode yourself, which is what should happen. But fear not, there is a new way to do it. The workaround is to build two walls in the opposite corner of the one by one you're standing on. Then instead of aiming for the opposite side of the cone, jump and aim on the spot where the two walls meet. The point of this technique is so you drop right on top of their head while they heal, or are turbo building you out. From their perspective, you pop out of nowhere, and by the time they react, you'll have enough time to get a shot off in their mouth. You can also do this trick with a grenade launcher, stickies, or dynamite by aiming the explosives at the same place so it just sticks there. Just make sure that you only use one explosive, because if you shoot more than one or use more than one, they'll follow you down and kill you. Up next is a trick that's pretty much impossible to counter. I'm not sure who originally found it, but I saw it recently in a great video by Billy Biceps. The trick is to when instead of endlessly spamming your opponent's walls, build a floor and edit it into one square, then run up to the corner where the walls and the newly edited structure meet, hold W into the wall and either pickaxe or shoot it down and you'll phase right through it. The reason this happens is even if they turbo build you out, you end up stuck in the wall and for some reason the game pushes you through it. If I put a ramp in the 1x1 and do the same trick, you can see that the wall starts flashing yellow, meaning someone is phasing through it and anyone can shoot through it. I can shoot through the wall and so can my opponents. This trick also works with a cone and a ramp if it's facing the wall. If you want more cover while doing it, you can put a wall down, 
box yourself up and then jump into a ramp. Jumping into the ramp and then through the wall will push you forwards and if you break the wall perfectly you'll end up phasing through as well. These phasing techniques are extremely useful but also realize you're toast if your opponent has a trap and is waiting for you to phase through. A little tip to keep your opponent inside the box while you do these tricks and to prevent them from building out is that you can phase a cone through the wall if you time it correctly. This way they can't build out with a ramp and if they try to destroy it you'll have more than enough time to use one of the phasing techniques that we went over to get yourself inside their box. The last trick is an older phasing technique from Martos that still hasn't been patched or fixed yet. Instead of phasing through a wall for this trick, you'll be phasing through the top of their 1x1 through their cone and floor. You want to use this trick if your opponent keeps replacing the cone that you're trying to claim. For the trick to work, build two walls and then wedge yourself at the center of them where they meet the edge of the cone. Then you want to break through the cone so your opponent will replace the cone again, but just like the other phasing techniques, you'll already be through the cone. As you can see, the cone will flash yellow, meaning that you're phasing through it. Then you can break through the floor because they will be turbo building a cone instead of a floor thinking that you're still on top of it. This technique also leads you to be very susceptible to getting trapped as well because all of the walls around you are now your opponents and not yours. But this technique is pretty much fail proof in actually getting through there one by one so it's up to you to take the risk. Overall, if you ever encounter a player turtled up in a box in front of you, use one of these tips and tricks to help you secure the kill. If you can't decide which trick to use, it mainly depends on the situation as well as whichever you feel most comfortable with and have enough time to pull off. If you guys found this video helpful, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications. I want to thank you guys all so much for 30,000 subscribers. Remember that I promised a face reveal at 100k subs, and I have a banger video planned if we ever reach it, so make sure to get everyone you know to subscribe. This video shoutouts go to Crimzan, who went above and beyond supporting me and using my code, and YummyXO, who actually changed his name to Code Jerrion Grant. Keep sending me pictures of you guys using my codes for a future video and for future shoutouts. Otherwise, that's it for me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.